Thompson have come to see the top two teams in women's basketball. When you walk into Gamble Pavilion, you just had a feeling that something special was about to happen. It was Gaffney. 8,000 plus fans. Oh God, it sounds like it's about 80,000. But what was important for women's basketball was that it was the introduction. I mean, we in the game knew about Geno basketball, but to a national audience, it really was the introduction to an incredible career and program. Tennessee wasn't even supposed to play that game. <laughs> Can we be honest? It was supposed to be an ACC team. That's and right. the ACC said, we're not going to gamble. <laughs> and Pat Summit, bless her heart, yeah. said, you know what? We've already played a number of ranked teams. We'll go. I knew that Stores wasn't in Hartford, but I didn't realize really at that time how far out it was. And it kept getting, the snow kept getting heavier and heavier. So I was like, now why did we come up here? Because that's kind of how she built her program. We'll play anybody, anywhere, anytime. One of the things about Tennessee this year is they've had nothing but big games every game. Robin, they've played eight ranked teams so far, but they haven't faced a team like Connecticut yet. Oh, for three! Pat Summit has always believed to be the best, you have to play the best. And she's not afraid to go anywhere to play. The number one ranking is on the line. In fact, the Associated Press is holding off on the voting until after this game. I think it was the first time that the Associated Press held off on the rankings. Yeah. You know, they're gonna let it be decided on the court. One versus two, we'll wait, and the winner will be number one. So that kind of added to it. Everybody was saying, my God, the AP's holding up a poll for a women's game. And it became its own little situation in the lure of that game. I remember people calling me before that game saying, oh, you guys, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm like, what are you talking about what are we gonna do? You can't run your normal offense against them, you know? I said, why? Well, because they won't let you. I said, bullshit. I said, what do you mean they won't let us? I don't think any of us were really intimidated. Johnson rejected. Pat Summit, none too happy about that. Shot blocked by Walters, goes back up, blocked again. Some of us might have been a little bit in awe of Pat Summit because she was the big deal in women's college basketball. And I think we were excited to play Tennessee and excited to see how we matched up against them. And with the steal! Talk about a team that can work together. I remember it was the first time where I was really into basketball. I go to my room, I remember I sit on the floor and boom, I put it on. This place. This is Disneyland of basketball. I need to be there. That's when I was 13. I was like, this is exciting. It will be official later in the day. Connecticut, number one for the first time in school history. After we won, it's just like a phenomenon that, that I haven't experienced. And no one wanted to leave the building. And I'm thinking, at some point, they got to leave. Nobody wanted to leave. Not one person left. We ran off the court. You could still hear the crowd. And it was, to this day, I don't, I don't know that we'll ever experience that moment, a, a moment like that again. It was, I still get chills. That still remains one of the more memorable moments that I've had in, in this building and, and any other building, for that matter. I think the UConn-Tennessee rivalry did a lot of great things for women's basketball, and that was the beginning of it. So, you know, I think we're all kind of proud to be a small part of that. I think rivalries are, are great in all aspects of the game, for the fans, for the media, for the players, for both teams. And my mom always circled Connecticut on that, on that schedule. That rivalry really put basketball, women's basketball, into a place where I don't think it had been before. I never really give it any thought in terms of what it did nationally. I know it changed our program. I know it put us on a course that, that we've traveled since then. That really was the start of us on a national scene and changed our program forever.